Hi, welcome to the Washington, D.C. Market Watch, brought to you by RBI Real Estate Business Intelligence, an MRIS company. We're going to dig into the most recent numbers from the Washington, D.C. housing market. Some people talk about the national housing market as if it's some static thing, like a toaster. The thing is, there is no national housing market, just like there is no national weather forecast. That doesn't mean national averages don't have their place, but you don't grab a raincoat and an umbrella in Miami based on the weather in Seattle. Like the weather, all real estate is local. As we embark on the fourth and final quarter of 2011, let's take a look at our local forecast. Bucking the local trend this month, pending sales in the district decreased about 6% from last September to arrive at 522. Nowadays, purchase demand is being driven by low rates and bargain deals. The number of active listings on the market continues to fall. Inventory levels were down 18.1% to 2,282 units. Markets around the country are shedding supply. It's usually a leading indicator, meaning it precedes improvements in other metrics. Prices enjoyed positive growth from last year. The median sales price was up 1.6% to $380,000. To give that some context, here's a chart showing recent year-over-year -year price change. As you can see, after solid gains over the past year or so, plus a fluke in August, we're back in the black ink for the time being. Some finely tuned observers are watching alternative indicators even more so than prices. Why? A number of things need to happen before the region as a whole can return to sustained price growth. For example, the supply-demand balance needs to stay under six months for a decent stretch of time. Absorption rates is really just a fancy way of saying how quickly buyers can absorb the number of active listings. Month supply does a great job of assessing this balance, and last month it was down 9% to 4.4 months. Locally, month supply has hovered at or below that key six-month mark, and that's helped trigger the price gains. A dash of uplifting economic news was overshadowed by debt clouds from the ongoing turmoil in Greece and, of course, the threat of bank contagion. Manufacturing activity, construction spending, and overall job growth all picked up in September, temporarily calming fears of the dreaded double-dip storm. As for the lending climate, the Fed's recent Operation Twist helped push mortgage rates to record lows, under 4% for the first time ever. Despite the cheap money, jobs, jobs, jobs should still be the battle cry. That's the Washington, D.C. Market Watch for this month. Check back next month for the latest.